welcome to Thrigby Hall. It's a lovely little uh, collection of actually Asian wildlife here in, in Norfolk. And we're here shooting in a zoo environment today, which for some people, it's a great opportunity to see animals that they might not necessarily ever get to see in the wild. But it's also a great chance to improve your photographic skills in an environment that you're not having to contend too much with the environmental conditions, um, such as trying to find your animals for one. Um, so a couple of tips if you are going to be photographing in a zoo or in a captive environment is to try and use as wide an aperture as you can because this actually helps to blow out your foregrounds and backgrounds and also any wires that might be um, present. And also if you can and it's possible without disturbing the wildlife is to actually try and get your lens right up next to the fencing shooting through a hole in the fencing as this will actually help cut, out, cut away any fencing so you can actually get a nice natural portrait. A um, few other tips are just to really watch and spend time with one animal so don't run around trying to get snapshots, spend some time with an animal because you may miss something if you quickly come over, take a quick picture of the, the tigers which is actually where we are at the moment and then run off to try and photograph something else. Well you, you may miss them yawning or playing, something, doing something other than sleeping. Um, so it's, it's always good to spend a lot of time with one animal and if you've got somewhere close by maybe you know, look at a, a membership that would allow you to come back time and time again to really get the most out of the animals that they actually have on site.